Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back again in front of a webcam and a desktop, um, which I have done a few of these videos before. But the reason I am back talking to you right now is that there is a bit of a buzz in the Star Trek Starship Eagle Moss, whatever you want to call it, community out there, which is one of the best communities in the world. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, I just said I'd come on for just a couple of minutes to discuss because you mightn't have seen it. Maybe you are not a Twitter account holder, Facebook account holder, or anything like that. So this is my job to let you know what I have found out. And again, thanks for everybody who's shared a lot of information. Um, it's still unfolding. Very exciting. Um, some might say it was uh, predicted um, very easily, um, but exciting nonetheless, in my opinion. What's that news? The news is... Ba-da! Straight from Star Trek. Uh, dot com. Eagle Moss announces expansion of official Starships collection. Yay! I'm gonna need more room. I need to. I'm definitely gonna need to build onto the house. Um, Lady Trekkie, not too impressed to say the least, but she'll get over it. You know, I'm a nice guy, I'm a guy. But anyway. I digress. So let's have a quick little read of this. Um, Eagle Moss has formally confirmed that the Star Trek The Official Starships Collection is being extended from 90 issues to 110. This expansion will allow the collection to include many new ships that have never been made as models before, including, they promise, some incredibly rare Starfleet vessels that were seen in the debris field of Wolf 359. I know a lot of people are going to have cocked eyebrows like our famous Vulcan friends out there, so yes, that is definitely good news. Um, legendary model maker Greg and Star Trek scenic art supervisor Mike have joined forces with Eagle Moss to track down as much references as they can to make sure these models are accurate as possible. Other models that the extension will allow for will include significant Delta Quadrant ships. Nice. Um, what are we talking about? Kazon and such. Uh, more ships created for the remastered Blu-ray edition of the original series. I know there's a lot of um, Star Trek fans out there from the original series, however you'd like to refer to it. Um, so I know that's probably going to impress a lot of people. Because I think there's quite a demand for the original ships out there. And ships from the feature films. Keep an eye on StarTrek.com for more news, including an announcement about which ships you can expect to see in the near future. So definitely stay in tune for that. But also, do check out Ben over on Twitter as well. He is straight off the bat as well. So he is confirmed. It's official. We are definitely doing 110 issues. Plus, 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 plus. Specials. Yay! And they've already talked about doing ships from the new Star Trek movie, Star Trek Beyond as well, so looking forward to that. Um, we are getting some rare stuff now, so let's have a quick little uh, breeze through here. Here's some of the cool um, Doctor Who figurines to do as well. Um, the Titan will be on top of that, okay, so that's going to be awesome. Um, so, if the Titan will be on top of that, would that be a special then? Hmm. Um, the jellyfish ship and beyond ones. So that's the Vulcan ship, Spock ship. Um, there's a lot of kind of responses here. Some Wolf 359, but not all. Um, I think we'd have done every Klingon ship and most Vulcan ships as well. So that's a bit of a hint there of what's to come. Um, do, 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 do. Let's have a quick little. This is actually a lot of this is new to me as well. All variants off. Uh, all variants up to 110 will be true variants and not just paint variants as well so that's good so unique models uh, I know uh, one of my mates Rob has been screaming feverishly for the Daedalus and this picture arrived as well so um, I know that's going to make a lot of people happy and um, this is just a, a, a kind of reference picture anyway as well so you never know you never know um, there was talk about uh, a run about without the roll bar and that was a bit of fun to read as well so again the, there's a huge amount unfolding um right now over on twitter and there's promise of hints coming before christmas as well so definitely have a look up on that um currently issue 61 has just released over here in ireland i think it's 56 in america from uh, my friends over on the other side of the sea are telling me as well so you're only halfway there um for the 110 final issues will it be extended further than that as well uh, who knows who knows but it's it's just good news and something short and sweet but let me know 
in the comment section down below what ships you'd like to see that have not been confirmed yet. Um, also, don't forget, you know, obviously you're watching this video, you're on YouTube. Do check me out, Irish Trekkie. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe, even a how do you do LLAP. And um, I will chat to you guys later and have a great day. Adios. Bye-bye. Thank you.